Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm back with another free Grand Order video to do what I said I was going to do, which is do a video where I actually just grind with Ryoma for a bit. <laughs> so that's going to be today's video. Uh, his banner should have been released by now. Uh, hopefully if you went for him, I hope you got him, and if you didn't, then you didn't summon on him. But this <laughs> this is what he is. He is an AoE Lancer, and I'm going to use him a little bit in the Guda Guda event because there's actually a node that can take use of uh, having a Lancer. So... Uh, if you don't know what he does, I can show you right now. Before I actually start doing a lot of the things with him, I should make some caveats, and just in case you're just like, wow, he looks really pretty cool in this video. One thing to take note is that this CE that I have him is simply the event one. He has it only because it's event related and it's at 50%, so he can start at a 50% NP charge. Um, it gives him literally zero to the relevant thing that he needs uh, buffing in, which is Buster, not Buster, Arts. Um, but that's okay because the Guda Guda event itself will give him 30% uh, attack strength up, so that will make up for it. Um, the other thing to take note is that mine is actually at two. Th I golden foed mine. I forgot why I did it. I think I did it because I had a lot of golden foe, and I said, well, I'm saving these for Summer Ibuki and for uh, Cuckoo. My cat, Lucifer, is asking me, why would you do that? Why would you golden foe Ryoma? He's not top tier, he's not meta defining. Lucifer, why do you have problems with me? He doesn't say anything because he has no retort back to it. Uh, also, Lucifer is my cat, just so it doesn't make it sound like I'm talking to the Dark Lord himself. But anyway, yeah, he has 2,000 attack and 2,000 defense more, 1,000 attack more, and 1,000 um, HP more than you would expect from a regular Ryoma. And that's the basic caveats done and done. His level is still 90. He only has a single NP level. And this is the team we're going to go for. Now, obviously, if you go if you go double Castoria, that works perfectly fine. But I figured I may as well try and make some teams that are a little bit more centered on people who have maybe newer to the game. Because if you're already into the game a whole a whole bunch, you already know how good Ryoma is, and you already know ahead of time whether or not you're going to summon for him. So if you want to see double Castoria. He already does perfectly fine with Double Castoria. There's no need to bring in Oberon or anything else. He'll be do perfectly fine, and it's whatever. Uh, but this team right here assumes that someone went in and said, you know what, I have Lady Avalon as my single only um, arts supporter. Can he still function and do the loops? And I will show you that yes, he can. So let's go right into it. Uh, as soon as I go here. There we go. I'm going to waste a golden fruit. It's okay. You don't have to leave the comments saying what a waste of a golden fruit. It's fine. I have 200 of them. Get off my back, <laughs> kindly. So here's you go. Here's the arts team. Uh, we'll go right in. Ah, so one thing that's nice about Ryoma, which is what I'm going to show right here, is that because he has a built-in MP charge, not MP charge, he has the ability to give overcharge, which is also something that Lady Avalon has, which means that in the right setup, which you're going to show right now, because as you see, friend Castoria, give him what he needs. There you go, buff him up. Very nice. Don't need you anymore. Leave, We're bringing in the true support. Maybe one of the greatest <laughs> free-to-play options that exists in the NA currently, if you're looking to do arts grinding. It is... Zufu. What does Zufu do that is so interesting? Is it her NP? No, doesn't do anything with her NP. It is all her skills. This first skill is a heal, but it's okay, because that heal never happens. It's also an MP gainer, which will give some MP gain to Ryom over here. This second skill gives a whole bunch of buffs, but the one that's important, it's 20% to arts, and it's to party-wide, so we use that. This is an additional little 20% to MP charge, which we will use later on, but for right now we're not going to use it. And then we'll go to Lady Avalon. This is an additional 20%er, so we can just give it to him now. It's fine, because this will give him overcharge, and then we'll go in here. We'll give him 50% to the arts, as we do always. Go here. Give him some more overcharge, go here, and then with Lady Avalon, you don't need to do this to actually loop. I just like doing it, just because it gives him a lot of overcharge. <laughs> so currently he has overcharge from himself, he has overcharge from Lady Avalon, and now he's going to have an additional overcharge here, so that would put him at 3 overcharge plus the regular. That's 40% on turn 1, I think? If I'm correct, unless I'm mapping wrong. No, 20, 30, should be. I'll find out soon enough. And here we have the very nice... No peace in this one. Go here. <laughs> I've never heard the Nobu Death screams until now. <laughs> what the hell was that? I'll have to see it back there. But you can see there he got back with 91% at this point. 
pretty simple to go from here. So I wonder if it will show me what type of... I know, I guess it wouldn't increase. It just assumed that it would be an increase of it. Man, there's so many, so many buffs going on to him. Unfortunately, it's really silly that Fago does not show you the amount for it, but you're just going to have to trust me on the overcharge levels. The reason I assume it is because he gets two, one from his skill, one from Lady Avalon, and then he will get an additional one from being uh, the second to use a Noble Phantasm, so that should make him four. But anyway. Go here. Slap up this dude. Whoop! They all die. Here you go, 84% easy. Man, I, uh, <laughs> I I just really like the the unit itself. I really like Sakamoto and Ryoma. And if you're wondering why I'm able to pronounce his name halfway decently, it's because Like a Dragon Ishin exists, and that's also the reason why I'm able to say Saito Hajime, <laughs> because that is also the name that uh, Kiryu goes in. Well, it's not. No, I was I stopped talking because I wanted to hear the UFO Nobu Death screams again. Have you ever heard them? They sound like <laughs> as they die. <laughs> It's messed up. I've never heard that before. Because usually I play the game with uh, sound off. So there you go. That's one team right there. Easy enough, but... That's for someone who has Lady Avalon, so you can answer yourself. If I can get um, get them to the max level, could you do it? I think so. Would you? Would the Golden Foes really do anything? I don't know. It's a good question to ask. Unfortunately, I can't check that for you. I'll use my brother Nux's Castoria for this one. And we'll go over here to this one, which is something that is a little bit more. Now it's even more. I don't even have Lady Avalon. All I did was come in, log into the game, and say, uh, like, yo, I would like to use Ryoma. Can I make him as free to play as possible with a single Castoria friend? And this is the result that you have right here. So we'll jump in. Uh, Ryoma can actually work pretty good with even without the other 50%. You can also use Tamamo if you want to use Tamamo over Lady Avalon, and it's not really that much of a difference of what I saw. You won't be able to do the, the overcharge thing, but honestly, the overcharge thing is just like a nice bonus additional damage more than anything that's actually critical to the character I found. So here we go, we'll go Parcellus. I'll let him use his skill 1 to make him think that he might use his Noble Phantasm. He doesn't know that he's about to leave the team. I'll use this skill right here, which is the Philosopher Stone, uh, which applies Guts for one time, three turns, which is nice, but we'll never use that because this also applies 50% NP gain to a single ally when it's at level 10. Um, just to be double sure on the numbers on this, I'll ch quickly check right here, but I'm almost positive that is how much he gives. Um, it was one of the buffs that he has, so if you have him unbuffed, you're going to have to buff your dude if you want to get him to that higher level. Uh, yes, that is correct. He revives with 3,000 HP, and the MP rate is 50%, and that's for three turns. That is an insanely good amount. Um, if your unit, if your arts unit is already able to provide themselves damage, which Ryoma is able to do, then giving them a buttload of MP gain will do you good. And then we'll go into Zufu here. Zufu will give the tiny buffs. We'll go here. We'll go here. We'll go here. Buff himself up, Dragon of Reform, Super Oryu Power, and we'll go here, and we will buff bunch him. Whoa! I shouldn't find them as funny as it does, but you can see there, 90% return, very nice. Then the, that tiny little 20%. If you're wondering what that no effect is, is because these only apply when she's next to you, May. Um, never happens. I've never in the entire time that I've had her, which to be fair has not been long because she's pretty re recent to NA, I've never actually used her with the unit that she wants to be used with. Um, which is funny. Uh, I don't know why I don't put it there. She's literally tempted. Probably it's because I don't have Assassin and the Lancer one I need to still work on. Maybe something to look forward to later. So there you go, 81%. And this is simple, clean. This is no problem at all. And that's kind of the the benefit of using an arts unit is that a, castor a single Castoria 
is usually good enough <laughs> that if you just use an ally one, you don't need it yourself. And obviously, if you have your own Castoria, that opens you up to a lot more team stuff. So I don't want to make it seem like, oh, do you even need yours? No, you don't. Um, um, but more the idea of, like, if you're starting out, it's really nice to have, like, this option for it. That's why I think Arts is typically the easiest one to go to. Next would be Buster, and then the last one would be Quick. Yes, because Quick is the hardest, because it requires the most investment. Buster requires a decent amount of investment, and what do you require from Arts is to have your Arts DPS be leveled up, and then probably Zufu, and one of the very many other free-to-play options um, that exist. Or not even free-to-play, just one of the many options, which I can show right here um, as I talk a little bit more, because I've shown two sides of it now, of him doing stuff. Um, yeah, go here. Uh, go up, click on NP gain up, just to see. And now a lot of these dudes will end up being units that you can't actually use with them because they usually just give it to themselves because the go filtering system. But some good ones that I can look up here that I can just see. Bride Nero obviously is able to support them a decent buff because she not only gives them attack, she also gives 45% to NP gain, which also is an insane thing to give to someone. Um, Nobu, funny enough, also has an ability to give NP gain to someone. It's in her first skill, which is strategy, which is increased to all allies MP gain. Uh, which I believe isn't buffed over here yet, but eventually will get buffed, um, probably next year is what I assume. We don't have the Nobu buff yet. Uh, some other ones to look at. Parcellius is a pretty good one for Asclepius, as I like to call him and my, me and my brother like to call him now. Uh, can be used very well. This is basically was my go-to unit to give anyone just some MP gauge and some uh, MP gain before Zufu came out. But Zufu just gives a little bit more. On JP, um, he does get a buff to actually give arts, I believe, if I am remembering correctly. Let me just double check right here. Something to also remember all the time <laughs> is that because we're on NA, we're always on like a delay. So we have to remember, oh yeah, to keep that in mind, this is only applied for right now. But eventually on JP, the third skill gets buffed where it charges party's MP gauge, removes their debuffs, and then increases art's performance for three turns, which is 20%, which just makes them literally Zufu, which makes perfectly fine. But even then, I still think he's good right now. Uh, some other ones to quickly look at. So you see through here. Uh... She's actually a... Oh, I accidentally just clicked her on here. She's a newer addition, but she also has the ability here, which you can see here. I believe mine is 10 for this exact reason. Yeah, these two skills. The first skill is an increase to attack, which is nice. Uh, Buster Effectiveness doesn't do much for Ryoma, but the MP gain is 20%, and that's pretty nice. Uh, the second charge is a 20% charger, but still something to keep in mind if you want to use different units to kind of go around doing it. But uh, yes, he can do it as well. There's actually a decent amount of uh, Taisu Jinjun. There's a, there's a couple of other free-to-play options. I know that um, Da Vinci Ruler, Summer Da Vinci, has it on here as well. But I don't have mine buffed up, which is why I wouldn't use it to showcase. I would use them if mine were actually leveled up. But I'm already running pretty low on a lot of supplies here. She, is a, uh, she would be nice, but unfortunately Ryoma doesn't have the female uh, gender trait, so the buff that she gives to him doesn't apply with him. Uh, Mary Annie only cares if you are a woman, I believe. That Yume also gives it to an ally. Increase for a single... Uh, yep, on her second skill. Uh, yes, very options here. Uh, yep, that's okay. I want to back out. Okay. I'll go here, and before the video ends out, just after I've talked about like some of the other dudes in here, the one thing I can't show off, sadly, is I can't really show his defensive capabilities, because <laughs> the boss that is usually the big, oh, big danger thing that I would want to use him against is Ruler, and that's just kind of grueling, and the way that you specifically do the fight is very specific, so I don't feel like it would be a very fair way of showing it off. I wish there was an easier way to do it, but maybe maybe that would require to go to the event where Ryoma was actually debuted, debuted in, and which would likely be built around to be able to be used with him. But anyway, I'll go in here, and to show it, to end it off, I will use the ultimate team, which is what most people just use um, for most things. I haven't had to use this with arts. I actually never use this team with arts, just because I don't think it's very necessary. Uh, and I would prefer to just have Lady Avalon for 
Um, and also mostly for the most part, I feel like it's it's overkill, but it's all right. Sometimes overkill's nice. There's my Castoria. Go in here. Where are you, you, you magnificent bastard? There you are. Go in there. I'll go in here. If anything, they show off just a little bit more power. Though not by much. <laughs> you really don't. All right. Go here. Go here. Go here. Go here. Go here. You would also obviously would want to use the black rail now that I think about it, but it's fine. Go here. I don't need to do any more. There we go. All right. Punch up this Nobu and make her make that weird sound one more time. We, just the two of us. I've gotten none of the piece piece yet, I think. Yep, 79%, that's fine. Yeah, the one thing that is, if you want to talk about a, a slight negative that I could see that someone has, is that if you, there's a lot of actual arts in it that if you went double Castoria with using all their main skills, they would be able to have always 100% up. Ryoma doesn't have that. Ryoma will always, um... Probably because of the lack of hits on his NP doesn't 100% reach that, so he reaches 79%. And he needs to specifically use some NP gainers for um, that additional bonus thing. It's funny because you see the other teams, the other teams that, he, that I used here got him to like 90% or 80%, but Double Castoria, nah. 74% is where it actually kind of leaves off. Which is funny to think about, but that's team building for you, I guess. Go here. Go here. Literally no reason for me to use this. I may as well let them have a nap after this. And I'll go here. I don't know why I did it that way. This is the most jankiest setup I've ever had for one of these. We. Yeah. One million something. It's alright. I've seen a crazier numbers. But it's not bad, considering that the CE is just there for show, and it's not something like the Black Grail. I actually would be curious if Kitty do it. I can... Now do I have time for Black Grail stuff? I actually don't know if he can grind with the Black Grail, but I am going to do it. I assume he can. I may as well. With double cast Oria? Yeah, he should be able be to. Surprising if no one could. It literally is... I, my default expression is, of course he can, because who couldn't? But you never know. Mine isn't fully leveled up, but it's fine. There we go. The The one negative that we have here is, of course, that uh, he doesn't start off, but because he has 50%, he'll get that. Go here. Go here. I'll hold back some of the Castoria stuff for a second turn, just because I'm not 100% sure if he will um, reach to the level that he needs. He should be able to. Well, you know, just in case. I'm so cautious in a lot of things. This is one of them. Alright. Yeah, okay, yeah, 61%. So, d go here. Go here. Just to give him a little bit more power for that final one, I will use it this way. This is this way Castoria has it. Um, you have Melt, you have uh, Fian Mekul, you have Per... It's not Percival. Is it a Percival? Not Percival. Who's big, buff, big man huge from the, from the Knights of the Round Table? Melusane's brother. Yes, yes, okay. I, I would call him Beef McMahon Large, but yeah, you know who I'm talking about. He's huge. Go here. Go here. Go there. Go there. But yeah, I, I guess I can also show that here before I end it. The reason why that a lot of the time it's pretty hard for me to say definitively, oh yeah, you should get them, is that there just exists so many good options. It's uh, especially for arts lancers. Let's see. Two million. There we go. Very nice. But still, seventy-three percent on returned on MP. Man, that's interesting. Someone who knows better maths than me would be able to tell me why, with MP gain, he gets 
Actually, no, it just means that MP gain is able to do more. You sacrifice damage versus getting more MP. That makes 100% sense now that I say it out loud. Uh, party formation, party setup. Go here. Um, so yeah, we can go up here. This is pretty simple. We can go to Lancer, we can go to Arts, and then we can go to AoE, and you can see why there's so many options. Um... I just realized mine's is here. I think I'm actually missing one. But you can see here we have uh, Percival, B Beef McMahon Large. This one is not a threat, uh, Eris, until they fix the way her NP works, which I don't think they have on NA yet. Um, they will soon. Mysterious Alter Ego Lamba, which is the Lancer, who is the one most people like to use the most. It's just the one... The only This is one of the big reasons, because a lot of people like Melt and got her NP5, so then the idea is, do I need them? If they're that, Are they that much better than Melt if mine is NP5 and they're NP1? And the answer is no, of course not. <laughs> It's a, it's a hard, it's a, it's a, it's a tall ask for a lot of people. Not a lot of wood. Yeah, Fian Mekul, who a lot of people don't like, and it comes from the fact that when he launched, he was bad, and he also looks the way he does. If this was fact, if his kit was on a more popular male, you would never hear the end of it. No, I like his sprite. I've, I've grown, I've grown to like him over time. But definitely people, these people see him talking and they immediately get turned off of, by him. I've never seen a dude better at turning away people than Fionn McCool is. It is actually kind of amazing. But I think he's a good option and you can see here. his This first skill of his is also insane. Because this is party wide. This is another unit that you can actually use with Ryoma <laughs> if you wanted to. As in a more supportive capability. But obviously he would be better if you didn't do it that way. Um... And this is another from pretty recent free-to-play option, which I like a whole bunch, and I also use from time to time, which is Mary Anning. Because Mary Anning is also has the ability to give herself some attack up, some arts effectiveness, increase MP gain, um, which gives it to herself and all female allies, gives her some bunch of crit stars, and then also can increase her MP gain just by a little bit of mount. I think that Ryoma is still better than uh, her, but she's still a very good, solid free-to-play option if you were playing the Guda Guda event. Uh, not the Guda Guda, the Learning with Manga event while she was here. Cool unit. And she has a dog. Loaf dog at the end there. Very good unit, though. But yeah, that's Ryoma. And that's the end of the video of today, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. I'll be back with more videos, I guess. Yes. Guda Guda is basically done. So... <laughs> I have to figure out something to do with it, though I probably have some other ideas to go for. I have some stuff that I need to actually finish writing and putting down because I've been working on them uh, and then uh, got very busy and then many things happened. But anyway, see you in the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. If you made it all the way to the end, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It helps out the channel a bunch, and people have been doing, have been supporting pretty nicely recently. So thank you very much. Till next time, I'll see you guys in a later video. Peace out.